guys i am sorry if my voice sounds weird from time to time i am currently munching on a cough drop because i woke up with a sore throat so hopefully you won't notice it too much in the video and i won't be sounding like i'm actually eating something even though i actually am Hello guys, it's Kelly here again and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video that is going to be talking about some geeky stuff. And what I mean by that is I'm going to be sharing with you my comic book, graphic novels and manga collection. Now I tried to pick this pile up. This is half the pile by the way. I tried to pick it up and I couldn't and it all fell apart. So I'm gonna have to improvise for the um, screenshot. But what I'm going to uh, end up, which is by the way, here's the other pile the rest of this pile. First of all, I'm going to be sharing with you a few um, just kind of random things that I've gathered over the years. I used to read a lot of manga and watch a lot of anime when I was in high school. I don't anymore. I do tend to reread some mangas, but not that much. I feel like I've kind of outgrown it, but I still really enjoy anime. I love drawing anime uh, and the anime style and uh, I love my collection and I want to complete some parts of it uh, very soon. So the first one that I'm going to be sharing with you is... So the first three that I'm going to be sharing with you are three kind of books that are a combination of multiple manga stories or just one chapter from different mangas. This is uh, called the Mammoth Book of Best New Manga. This one is actually really great. It had a lot of chapters that I really enjoyed. All different artists, all different stories. It was completely just every page was absolutely different and you never knew what you were going to get. Some of them I liked a lot and I still remember to this day and I still reread some and some not so much. But you know it's cool to have like a big book with just a couple of chapters because it, I feel like these are all one shot but some of them might actually be um, parts of larger manga series so that's cool if you like something you can always check out if um, you know it's a series or if it's a one shot. The two other ones are the same thing this one came free with a magazine here in Bulgaria. I think this was just one story I don't remember I actually don't even remember what the story was, but I like the cover, so I kept it. And the last one was, I don't know where I got it from, but it is, I believe, in Japanese. So I couldn't read anything, but I looked through the pictures and I kept it because it's part of my collection. The next two random manga oriented things that I have are two mangas. Um, manga adaptations of classics so i have romeo and juliet and i have as you like it and these are shakespeare shakespeare and manga version it is modernized i am not a fan of the art style very much the stories were nice the stories were nice and i believe these were korean i don't think these were japanese i definitely feel like i, I remember them being korean so I, I don't know maybe i'm maybe i'm wrong but i remember the stories were good and um i enjoyed reading them the next random thing that i have is probably something that everyone has and it is a warcraft book and it is a warcraft manga and the art style on this is really amazing it's really awesome i really loved it i feel like everyone has it or everyone has seen it at least everyone in bulgarian does because it's the only thing warcraft manga related i guess uh, but yeah this is another random thing in my collection the next three kind of random things that i have are these three little mangas from judith bark and i um like this one is called dystopia and these two are part one and part two of i think it was yx love or something like xy love something like that uh, i will link it down in the description down below or on the screen what the name is i uh, remember because in Tokyo we don't have that many mangas 
and these were in back in the day these were the only ones that were imported and i believe judith park is a german author or in a german manga mangaka and an illustrator i love her art style you can tell from the covers they are just really really beautiful and i really really enjoyed the story i remember i read them in high school they were awesome so if you happen to have these or stumble upon them pick them up you know i don't really remember i feel like they're very kind of middle grade or high school grade but i really enjoyed them and I feel like more people should be reading them. Alright, now on to the actual manga and the first actual manga that I have is called Nana and I have only volume 2 and I have read only this part. I have not read anything else from Nana. I know it was a very famous manga back in the day. Everyone used to love it and my hair is just all crazy. One of my dad's colleagues went to China and I asked him to find just any manga that he could in English. Just anything. I was I was going to sell for anything and actually I do believe that the one I showed you earlier, the one that is entirely in a language I don't understand, I believe he got me both of these and he got me this one even though it's not in English. He got me this one because he couldn't find anything in English and then he found Nana Volume 2 and he brought me this. I am really happy that he did, you know, I just, I have something authentic. And yes, I know that it is a Japanese manga, but my dad's colleague just was going on a trip in China and they also have manga in China. The next ones that I have are two volumes of Plus Anima and I have not read this. I have read only these two and these were a gift from my mom and she knew I really love manga and she couldn't find much so she found these two. I don't even think they're available now but she found these two and she got them for me. This is really really they are really really cute. Let me see how to show you this. They are really really cute. I remember it was something to do with um kids or you know people that had abilities to turn into certain animals and each kid had a different animal and it was really interesting. I, I should probably read the whole series. I think it's quite hefty but yeah it was cool. I'm really happy to have these in my collection. The last pieces of manga that I actually have are my Death Note collection and I this is my all-time favorite manga. I have read and reread this three times. It is awesome. I absolutely love it. It did take me a while to get into it. I think it was like 13 chapters or something until I finally got into it. But as you can see, I only have 8, 9, 10, 11, and 13 from the volumes. Unfortunately, they stopped importing them in Bulgaria, so I cannot get them here anymore. I found one bookstore that sells them and I just recently bought number, which one? Well, number 11, I think? Yeah, I just recently bought this one. Uh, before that, I only have these ones. I am really sad that I can't find them here because unfortunately, if I order them on Amazon, they're going to be, well, <laughs> three times more expensive because I live in a country that apparently is on the other side of the planet. I think the bookstore had two more volumes that eventually I'm going to get because they are expensive. So this is a collection that I'm most proud of. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I will complete it soon. And the last few things that I have are actually comic books and um, graphic novels. So I have this comic book that is called Faith. It was a gift for my birthday um, from my best friend. He brought it for me from the UK and I hope he doesn't watch this but I still haven't read it. I do plan on starting it soon. I just, I, I don't know why I haven't read this yet. I really should. The next comic book that I have to share with you guys is actually Gambit uh, and it is Gambit Classic I believe it's called and this is volume 2 because again Bulgaria we don't have volume 1 and I had to read the overview of what happened in the print um, before I got into the comic. This is an awesome comic. Gambit is one of my all-time favorite characters, um, Marvel characters. I really wish I had volume 1 and if there's any other volumes I wish I had them but I don't and also this was a crap ton expensive. I could not believe how expensive this was. This cost three books. It cost three actual full-size books but I am really happy that I have it and I'm going to treasure it because it's super expensive. 
The next thing that I'm going to be sharing with you guys is called Babies, I believe, and it is actually a graphic novel. Yeah, it's volume one of a graphic novel, and it is a Bulgarian graphic novel from two Bulgarian artists, and one of them is called Ivan Kuritarev. He actually worked for Ubisoft, and his wife, Sibila Kuritarova. And this, their style is just amazing. The way that this is drawn is just amazing. I actually took a character design class with them and um, I received this as a gift from a lottery that we did at the end of the class. And it is awesome. It is really awesome. I love the art style. The story was really cool. And um, yeah, this is basically a really cool book. <laughs> the next two things that I have to share with you guys are Heroes Volume 1 and 2, the graphic novels. And these are my all-time favorite books <laughs> to have and read and look through. I am a major Heroes fan. I've said this before on this channel. I was obsessed for years. I still am. I just I am currently re-watching the whole series and I got these from my best friend while he was studying and living in uh, the UK. He brought this one for one, one birthday, one for another birthday and I cannot express you how happy I am and how thankful I am to him. And uh, they're just amazing, like the art style in them is just phenomenal. I absolutely love, like I said, I absolutely love heroes and these books have their sleeves and even naked they have like the eclipse with the sun i don't know if you can see it um but these are awesome i am so happy to have them i know there's a volume three i don't know if there's a four but however many other volumes there are i really want to have them but again i really can't get them because they're super expensive and i just noticed that this one costs as much as this one and first of all, second of all, and third of all, you can't actually tell, but the paper is very thin and kind of low quality on the Gambit one. And here it's very glossy, very thick. It's very much like a graphic novel paper. So I really, and this is a hardcover, this is a floppy. So I do not understand how this costs as much as this one. I just don't. But. So that is everything for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed my comic book slash manga slash graphic novel collection. If you like my videos, if you want to see more, comment, like, and subscribe down below. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!